without um, ordering numbers on a number line. Remember when yes, we made the line? Yes, ma'am. And ma we put numbers in place based on their position on the number line? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going to carry that over into today's lesson, which is comparing and ordering to 10,000s. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, let's look at page 54. The highest mountain in the United States is Mount McKinley. It is 20,320 feet high. The highest mountain in Canada is Mount Logan. It is 19,850 feet high. Which mountain is higher is what they're asking us. Okay, I'm sure that you all have an idea just by looking at those numbers, yes? Yes? Yes. Okay, but a place value chart can help you compare these numbers. All right? So, let's go ahead and make a chart. First, we have Mount McKinley. Write that down. Yes. And then the second mount is um, Mount Logan. All right. Now, it says that Mount McKinley is 20,320 feet. That's 20,320 feet. And then Mount Logan is 19,850 feet. All right. So, the best way to go about sectioning these off, we're going to go ahead and list the place value for each each uh, row of numbers. So we already know that this is what place value. Raise your hand. Atala? One. One's place. Good job. So if this is the one's place, what is this place? A shocking. Tens. Good job. So we have our tens here. And so that's the tens place. Who can tell me what this place is? Amira. The hundreds. Hundreds. Good job. All right. Timothy, can you help me out, sir? Can you tell me what place? The next one. This one. We have ones, tens, hundreds. What's next? Thousands. Yes. All right, and here comes the tricky one. Who can tell me what this place is? Okay, quite a few people want to try. Mm, let's go with the a towel. Uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Good job. Great. How many were going to say ten thousands as well? Were you going to say this to Tim? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So now that we've created a place value chart, this kind of puts the the ordering into perspective. Yes, Timothy. You should be writing all of this down. Everything that's on the board, you should be writing down. All right. So let's begin with the 10,000s place. The 10,000s digits are not the same, right? Are they the same? We have, what are our digits in the 10,000s the place? Two and, two and one. Good job. So when we have two and we have one, is two greater than, less than, or equal to one? Ashaki. Greater than. Good job. So two is greater than one. So 20,320 is going to be greater than, less than, or equal to 19,850. Who can help me out with that answer? So, since we've already determined by looking at the first number, 2 is greater than 1, so does this mean that 20,320, is it greater than, less than, or equal to 19,850? Yes. Greater than. Good job. Good job. All right. Now, keep in mind that you can compare, I mean, you can order place numbers 
by comparing the digits in each place value position. So for example, if I wrote If we had 652 and we wanted to know if it was greater or less than 662, all we would do is we would make a place value chart, right? Yes, and in our place value chart, we'd have 652 and then we have 662. So what place is this? The twos are in what place? One. The the uh, five and the six, what's it, what place? Yes. Tens. Tens. And the sixes are in what place? A shocking. What place are the the sixes in? Hundreds. Good job. All right. So now that we've determined that, our numbers are relatively close to one another. So we want to determine which of which is the larger of the two. So when we have both of the numbers in the hundreds placed the same, what do we do? Raise your hand. If we have both of we have the same numbers in the hundreds place, what do we need to do? Because this won't tell us if the number which number is greater than the other because they both begin with six. So what do we need to do? Who can help me out? Atala. You have to equal it. How? By six. By six. Not quite. Let's see if Timothy can help you out. So why is the person again? We already have the same number here, so we can't determine which number is larger. What do we need to do? You need you need to look at every column. Good. Good job. So we need to move over to the tens. Which number is larger, the five or the six? The six. So we know that this is our larger number. So quite naturally, 552 is less than 662. Get it? Yes. Ma now, if we had the same number, if we had the same number here, and we had different digits here, we would constantly go down until we found two different numbers. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. So you have to compare the numbers to determine where they would fit on the numbers chart, right? So if we both, if we had sixes in the hundreds column and we had sixes in the tens column, quite naturally we would move over to the ones, which would make 662 greater than 661, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. Any questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right. Let's do one more example here. Did everyone get this down? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Now, let's compare another number. If I give you all Let's say, I'll go ahead and erase it. Really quickly. If I gave you all 8,982, and we want to know if it's greater than, less than, or equal to 6,408. What's our first step, class? What do we need to do first of all? Yes, Timothy. Seeing which number is the biggest. And how do we need to do that? By creating what? Um, by making the chart. Good job. So let's make our chart first. So we're going to put 800, 980, I mean 8,982, and then we're going to put 6,408. So after we make our little charts here, ones place, what's the next place? We got ones, what's next to title? Ten. What's next to mirror? Oh, a hundred. What's next to shocky? 
thousand. Good job. All right. So now we've got our chart in place, right? Yeah. Now we need yeah. to compare. What side are we going to compare starting with? We're going to start on the left, right? Yes, ma'am. So yes, let's look at the, the first column, the thousand section. Which number is larger? Is 8 equal to less than or greater than 6? A taller. 8 is greater than 6. 8 is greater than 6. So we already have our answer, right? Yes, ma'am. Because we know that 8 is greater than 6. We know that 8,982 is greater than 6,408. All right? All right? Yes. Well, that might not be the case every time. So that's why you want to compare those numbers before you give an answer. Does anyone have any questions about this? All right. All right, so let's go ahead and do some independent practice. All right? We're going to do some, you're going to do some on your own, and I'll come around and check. And if you have any questions, do let me know, all right?